everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to make a video about a three marker challenge. I keep seeing these all over YouTube and I think they're a lot of fun and I really wanted to do one for my channel as well. But I wanted to do a little bit of a twist on it. So as you can see, I'm digging through my box of pens and I am picking three markers. Now I'm not looking. Um, you don't have to believe me, but I really am not looking. And as you can tell, I tend to pick markers from the very bottom of my little box here. So I really don't know what colors I'm getting. So after I pick my colors, this is where things are a little different in the way that I want to do this challenge. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is based on my first two markers, I am going to pick a Pokemon to draw. I'm really excited about the new game coming out here soon, and I really wanted to do something as a tribute to Pokemon because I really do love the games. So these are my first two colors, a peach color and a pink flamingo, and then this kind of yellow green color you can see me pointing to here. Now, you can tell these are not Copic markers, and most people that do these challenges do use Copic markers, and there is one big reason I did not do that. I don't have any. I would love to get some, but I would really like to practice with the markers I already have and see how they work first before investing the money. Here you see me looking at Pokemon Online and picking to know to draw since peach and pink were a really good color combination to start off with this one. So once you pick your Pokemon based off those first two colors you have one third color that you have to incorporate in the picture somewhere. So here I am sketching out my drawing on an artist trading card and I'm using a Prismacolor color erase pencil in the color pink. I'm later going to go over that with vermilion just to create a little bit of a darker line that I can follow. I chose to do this on an artist trading card sized sheet of paper because I have been really loving um, art by Karen E. Haley and her channel and she's been doing uh, trading Card Tuesdays over on her channel and has been getting a lot of participation from her viewers and it's been a really cool thing to see. She's done a lot of the new Pokemon in the new game coming out and you should really go check out her channel. I'll have a link in my description and you can check out her awesome art. So I thought doing this on a trading card sized piece of paper would really be appropriate since Pokemon is such a big trading card game as well. So I'm starting in with my markers here and the brand of these first two colors are the Bic Markets and they're not super great for blending colors I've noticed. They're very much like a Sharpie in how much color they lay down and are really nice and vibrant colors, but are definitely a lot of ink going down all at once, which tends to make a pretty smooth color, but not very great for blending. That's something that I'm excited about when I eventually can afford getting some Copics to really start blending a little bit more. So here I'm going in with what is called Pink Flamingo. I believe the first color is Peach Parfait. I like the Big Market uh, names that they come up with for their colors is pretty fun. And the set that I have, which I'll have a link in the description to all the supplies I use, but the uh, set I have actually has a lot of colors that are really pretty.
I want to go ahead and also apologize that I realized the color, uh, or the lighting here actually changes quite a bit, especially toward the end of the video. And I think a lot of that is just due to me getting used to the setup, getting used to recording videos, and changing the lighting a bit. I think the lighting outside affected this a little bit. So I'm going in here with the green, which is my third color that I really needed to incorporate. And I really wanted to create kind of a meadowy green sort of scene that I feel like an Audino would be seen in. Um, but I also didn't want it to be too detailed because I, I really can't blend the colors too much and make too many other colors and variations. I wanted to just do a simple pattern in the background. So you see me putting in some lines here to create just a couple strips of color that vary a little bit to really help Audino pop out of the picture. I really like this green color and the pen that I'm using for this part is from uh, the brand Creative Living Network, which it's definitely more of a scrapbook pen and I've had it a really long time. If I can find a link for it, I'll put it in the description, but it was a really large set where there's a brush tip on one side and more of a, a bullet um, nib kind of uh, tip on the other end. So it's nice for some detailing. You see me use that a little bit around some of the details when I'm outlining with the green, but when I'm coloring, I'm using the brush tip. And it definitely is streaky, so not the best quality. But again, I wanna use the products that I currently own before investing a lot of money in new things. And I'd encourage all of you to do the same if you're just getting started with art or a new medium. Markers are definitely a new medium for me. And I really wanna practice and get really good at it. And then I can invest the money in some nicer quality things so I can make some nice quality illustrations. So here you can see it's getting a little dark. It'll brighten up in a little bit. There we go. <laughs> They're getting close to the end here and I wanted to do a little shout out to anyone who's viewing or new subscribers, new viewers. What other art challenges do you really like to watch? I would love to do more in the future and I definitely have a lot of different art supplies that I use I can do some really creative stuff, but I really want to see what you guys want to see. Um, let me know in the comments below what kind of challenges you would want me to try on the channel, and I would love to try it out. I think it'd be really fun. And if you do any artwork similar to this, or you want to do this challenge yourself, go ahead and uh, link me in the comments, or let me know on my Instagram or other accounts. I would love to see what you're working on. Here I'm just using a white paint pen, pretty simple, just to create a little bit of a border and a little bit of highlights. And that's it. Here's my Audino three marker challenge. Thanks so much for watching.